Hi there, Rich Weller again. Guys, I made an error. I made a mistake. In my last video preparing for that, I spent like 10 hours worth of research pulling information together and I, I misinterpreted one picture. I misinterpreted one picture and threw my uh, research off, uh, threw my actual results off. And I'm here today to, to correct my error. And I want to thank all those people that knew the answer for real um, as they've been there in the real world for helping me uh, to help helping me see the error of my ways. So with that, let's jump over now onto the computer. I'll show you the error that I made and I'll show you exactly where the old depot used to sit in Dundas, Ohio. Let's take a look. Okay, and here we are again, Dundas, Ohio railroads. This time, correct it. I made one mistake and here is the picture that I was reviewing. Again, the overall objective was to determine where this old depot used to sit within, within Dundas, Ohio. And you can go back, I'll put the link to the uh, previous video uh, down below uh, in this video so that you can go take a look at all the research that I did. But this is the one picture that I, that I misinterpreted um, and I'll show you now. Uh, what I'm talking about. So this one picture, this is this is the old station in Dundas, Ohio. And this railroad track right here is called the CHV and T. This picture is running from um, it's it's looking southeast. So we are looking southeast from this on this video. And this track is running from MacArthur, Ohio to towards Orton, to, towards Orton. Okay. And then this track uh, here on the right, or on the right, we can see it in the background. This is the B and O Railroad. This is the track that is still the line that's still in place today. And this track is running uh, north and south. Um, and it, the, the the direction that we're going right now, kind of left to right, is is south or southwest. Um, in other words, this track is running uh, from from Zaleski uh, to Hamden. Um, and this is the picture that I misinterpreted because I, as I looked at this picture, this made sense. Like uh, this is uh, this is this is west to east, and this is east to west going this way, and this track here connects them to get connects them together. Um, <clears throat> but as I was looking at this rail, the the railroad back here, the line back here, I made the assumption that hey, that looks like that's going behind behind the station. But as I am and with the, with the help from everyone uh, on the internet, uh, they they helped me realize the error in my ways. If we look a little closer, right here, this line is actually running in between these two buildings. You can see it right here, uh, and that's where I made my error, which which threw things off. And if I if I go a little farther forward here and compare these two pictures, like. This was easy. This this is easy to see that this building is the same building here um, that, that's in these two different pictures. And this rail line here is running. This is the uh, this is the north side, like we're looking north. So this train is coming from the north to the south in in, in this picture here. And so with that, just from these two pictures and the information I got, this old depot is sitting on the south. Uh, east quadrant of where these two rail lines come together. So let's take a little, oh, and and after the video, a previous video went out, I, I, again, I spent uh, like 10 hours worth of research pulling this information together and still missed it. And uh, thanks to Mr. Richard Morgan uh, pulling into his, his historical archives, he found this picture for me to help solidify that, that that building is actually sitting right here on the southeast corner or, or quadrant of where these two lines come together. Um, so thank you, Richard. I appreciate that, your help and guidance here. And again, the green line here, this is the Hawking Valley, the Columbus Hawking Valley and Toledo Rail Line or the CHV and T, this green line here. Uh, the blue line is the, is the BNO. Um, uh, that we can see here and had all that information right. I'm just reiterating. And then this line here, this is a, a newer picture. Um, so we've apparently, you know, it's a newer picture because Route 93 is seen here in this map. So that's, uh, so again, pulling this from the archives, just showing you where that's at. And now let me again redraw this map that was in the last video. Uh, we've got the, 
the well first place on this map the chv and t the rail the chv and t rail line this this is not the scale um not the scale at all but it's just to help you understand all of these pictures and where that building set at again the chv and t uh running from macarthur to orton it actually runs farther or ran farther either way but i'm focusing in on that depot or that old station there in in dundas that no longer exists today so that's the chv and t the next uh, line that we'll put on here is the old B&O. Uh, that line, is, again, is still in existence today, and it runs from Zaleski uh, to Hamden and on down out farther again. If you watch the, uh, watch the other video from the past, there, I got everything right except where that building was actually sitting at. Um, but uh, so, so this, is the, this is, again, Dundas, Ohio right here uh, would be sitting right here in the center. And this is where these two rail lines came together. Um, and here's that little track that, that joined the CHB and T to the B&O. Um, you can see that here. And so that MacArthur Junction of Dundas or in Dundas was sitting here on the south, you can see southeast corner or quadrant of where those two rail lines came together. Again, I appreciate all the, everyone um, coming to my rescue and and helping me correct my air here so that we can uh, we can preserve history accurately so that's where those two or that's where that building set at and now let's take a look at this picture again what we'll do now is we'll place all those pictures again um, back onto the map so that you can see where they were taken so if we look at this picture here again a cool picture if we were to put that on this map this picture again is looking it's looking south uh, southeast. So as we're looking down this rail line, we're to look, we would be looking this way. You can see the little side tracker, the connecting line coming in there, and you can see the old B&O um, or, or the B&O in the background. So this picture was taken from about right there. If we look at this next picture, we can see the, the old uh, station there on, on, on the right. Um, so we know that's the southeast corner now. So that picture would have been taken from, uh, again, from about right here and it's looking northeast so you can see the station there in the background and so this picture is taking here looking that way so that train was that tr that train right there was coming from Zaleski headed towards Hamden let's look at another picture so we can see this picture in the background I sincerely believe this picture is the same train uh, again that, that, that we look that's, in, that's depicted in that first picture, we can see it sitting here in the background and we know that that's heading, um, for, that's, that, that, is, that is the track, the D, the CHB and T track that's running from MacArthur to, uh, towards Orton. We know this is a track coming this way, coming towards us is going towards Hamden. So if we were to put this picture on the map, um, this picture is sitting, it's just on the opposite side of the tracks as to where this picture was taken, right? If you look at this closely, this picture was taken on the right side of the track, uh, on the right side of the track, and this picture was taken on the left side of the track, totally different time spans or years as we can tell by looking at the the engine on this side uh, is incredibly newer than the the rail cars on this side so that's really interesting too but this picture again was taken from about right here and it's looking looking north and, and east um, and again i i believe i sincerely believe that this this train these rail cars that we're looking at here is probably the this is probably the tail end of those cars so that would mean this train um, that's sitting here was was heading from macarthur towards orton okay let's take a look at another one of those pictures so this picture here uh, <clears throat> pretty cool um amazingly cool we can uh, we can see this we can see the station there in the background we can see the, you can almost make out as for dundas here look at all those people standing there and again if you were to go to this exact location today the building is no longer there this rail line or the none of these rail lines are here but let's take a look at where this picture was taken from um, and again i had this right uh, in the previous video so this picture was taken from about right here and this picture is looking it is looking north northwest uh, towards towards the old station so you can see that there and we got another picture here <clears throat> 
And again, this one tripped me up uh, at first. If you go back and look at the first video, you'll hear how I got tripped up uh, in this video, but or in looking at this picture, but I solved it uh, in that last video. Uh, this picture um, was taken, uh, I believe, at the like at the same around the same time as the last the last picture it just someone walked down the tracks a little bit they walked down a little bit farther forward uh again the the one that we just looked at was taken from about right here on, on the uh on the sidewalk that you can see here in the background i believe these are the same two trains that are that are in that previous picture but if we take this picture and lay it on lay it here on the map it was taken from just down the tracks just a little bit uh looking towards the station this way and so there again we we've laid the pictures on the map as the way they should be the uh, macarthur uh, junction or that station for Dundas is sitting here. Um, and if I go a little bit farther forward, I, I show this picture in the last video as well. Here in this green line that I'm adding to the screen, this is uh, this is our B this is our B and O railroad running here uh, from Zaleski towards Hamden, uh, the, the rail line that's still in existence today. And if I add that uh, CHB and T uh, onto the map, this uh, rail line no longer exists. However, the if you were to drive out through here, you would be able to find or see the old railroad bed uh, still exists. You can see that. Um, uh, and then the other thing that I showed in the last video, that's all true, still true, is this, this third rail line, uh, which is the, we, we always used to call it the old CNO rail, railroad bed or the old CNO railroad um, that ran actually ran from Dundas. This is the one that ran from Dundas all the way in towards Lake Elma and uh, and actually turned into the bike path that goes from Lake Elma uh, to on into Wellston. And from my research, this was called the uh, Wellston and Jackson Belt Railway, as you can see here. And, uh, and at the time I was doing my research, I tried really hard to find a, pic a map or a picture depicting this. Uh, all I could show you in the previous video was the tree line. And you can, you can actually see that tree line. Uh, you can see that tree line here. Um, running through here and as I mentioned in my last video I, I've, I've walked that old railroad bed before from my house uh, in uh, north of Hamden into, into Dundas but here's this old rail line the, uh, the, the officially called the Wellston and Jackson Belt Railway and again thanks to Mr. Richard Morgan I, I couldn't find this video I couldn't find this map anywhere out there on the net uh, but you can see here Richard Morgan was able to dig into his archives and pull out an actual map of, uh, of Dundas we can see um, we can see that rail line coming out of Dundas here uh, and again, going towards towards Lake Alma uh, down this way. And I didn't realize it had a spur or a split here like this until I seen this picture. Um, okay, so that, that again, thank you, Richard Morgan for verifying or validating my information. I've, I've laid that uh, uh, line here on the map as well. And with that, I think I have corrected my error and fixed fixed things uh, in, in from the past. And I just wanted to uh, here as I end things up, I want to quote uh, Mr. Don Kempton, Kempton Jr. His words were, Dundas would have been a very busy place at one time. Don, I totally agree with you. And, uh, and thank you very much for your, for your words here and, uh, and helping me make things right. With that, have a great day.